Hi everybody, uh, I'm Rob Anderson and I've got to tell you that I'm <coughs> of a beginner with this. I, I, I'm, are you going to hear me struggling and suffering through this? I'm not totally sure um, if I'm getting this done correctly. What can I say? So let me start off by just showing you who I am. Here I am. Hi, I'm Rob Anderson. Uh, sorry about the fact that the video is extremely bad. I'm not um, too cared about what I look like and how the whole system works with my live streaming. Um, I, it's far better that I bring you the information that you need um, in the training that I'm going to be doing for you. Okay, so um, I do have a pre-recorded video I'm going to run through quickly for you in a minute um, on what I'm going to be doing, but just a quick introduction, and that is that this live streaming um, is about teaching you to do better sales in the craft products that you do. So if you if you manufacture anything um, and you need to know how to sell more of it online, I'm going to be doing at least 20 videos that will teach you how to sell more of that product. Okay, so from product research um, literally across to almost anything. Excuse me a sec while I look across to this side. Let me find you that video and play it for you. It's probably far better that you simply just know um, from this end as to what, you know, exactly I'm going to be doing for you. So cool, I'm going to come back after this video. Don't, don't, don't run away. Cool. Hi everybody. Uh, just a heads up, this part of this live streaming, this video is pre-recorded. I'm doing this first. Back off this um, video. To don't, don't, don't run I can try and keep it simple without the distractions that uh, I get during live streaming. Part of this okay, so streaming, this I'm going to be doing a I'm series doing of videos. Back In fact, if you look here, I've listed them, and I'm going to stick to this list the as, as much as uh, possible. On what I'm going to do for you for free on live streaming that will teach you how to sell more crops. Okay. Um, I do not have an overall course on this. I might have in the future. I do not have a membership site for this where I've turned these into detailed courses um, and you pay a membership fee, $20, $30, $40 to belong to that. I don't have any of that yet. What I do have, though, is a lot of experience in building websites for people that are either small businesses, work-from-home businesses, crafters, artists, um, I've done this for 10 years full time. Okay. I also do other things, affiliate marketing and things like that. So uh, I'm going to show all you all of it as I go along. Okay. So this video today, this live streaming, but this video that I'm making first that will be playing during the live streaming um, is just an introduction. So this is the live streaming general sh schedule, schedule, schedule. Yeah, one of those things. So here we go. Me telling you what I have planned for you over the next few weeks. Okay, so if you go into any of the groups on Facebook or anywhere, forums, etc., Etsy pages and places where people of um, who have this interest of, of selling what they manufacture, in other words, crafters uh, and artists that are producing goods for sale, um, they very often are, have, are coming across the same problems. Um, how to show their products at on their booth, in, the, in their flea market, on their tables, at their craft markets, at live places, at um, craft markets, at trade shows. Uh, hell, it doesn't matter if it's a school function. If you're doing a good job, you can do a lot of sales. Um, now, the experienced people, you all know who you are, um, are, are doing it probably okay. Um, I often I saw a post the other day of a lady who 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 was saying, "Ah, oh, look what I did! I'm so embarrassed." That was two years ago when I started. Look what I'm doing now. Now it's good. So my help is to not only come here and give you the advice and the training that I do have. And by the way, if that is one that I do have a course on, um, I need to fix it. So for now, I'm going to keep a low profile on that course. Uh, but my job is to not only teach you how to display on your booth, on your on your craft markets better, but to allow other people that are doing it well to pop in and interact and help you too. Um, the the idea is is that if we can help each other, or if you can all help each other, and I can help you to choose the best products to market, and then 
choose the best methods and mediums of displaying it, and then finally, the best, best, best methods of bringing in the lead generation that is going to help you sell it, then you're going to be happy campers. Now, I also know that, uh, because I'm a crafter first, that crafters, actually I I'm also a marketer as equal strength, but anyway, as crafters, we want to go ahead and just make cool stuff. We not only have to make stock of what we know sells, so that's fine, but generally if we're very creative, that tends to become boring. When we made that first piece, it was like, wow, I love this, look how cool it is, it's got that beautiful blue background, and it blends so nicely, whatever, okay? But once you've made 10 or 20 of them, well, then you kind of, while you're making it, you think, hey, if I could add a little bit of to this, and that's where our creativity comes in. So that's the kind of thing we want to be doing. Developing new lines, adding new products, generally enjoying what we do um, and not going out there and thinking about how to fix their SEO on your website so that Google sends you more leads. I know how to do that. I know how to do it very well. I, 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 I charge people to do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to be giving you a huge amount of free information here, stuff that I've paid courses for uh, to learn how to do and then have learned to utilize it and apply it and have turned it into success. And I'm going to try to show you how to do those yourself. Um, by the way, I cannot um, obviously take on hundreds of clients. So the point is, is that, yes, I do need occasional clients. Full websites, the one, two, three thousand dollar clients. That's fair enough. That's a website from scratch. Um, but I only do that if I know that it's a crafter that that we're a perfect fit. So I'm extremely fussy, and the good news is I can only do one client at a time. So for me, it's nice that um, I kind of am nursing along or working with one client, and the rest of the time, almost I can be dedicating to helping you guys with the kind of issues that sometimes you either don't have the budget for um, and, or B, you don't, you really shouldn't be paying a lot of money for something that in fact you might not need. Um, a lot of times the SEO industry um, will offer you a huge amount of things that are supposedly there to help you rank for local search. But in truth, local search ranking is something you can do quite easily yourself with kind of sticking to a simple thing that Google likes. And if Google likes you, and I've shown you the three things you should be doing well, okay, so the 13 things you should be doing well, uh, you're going to be cool with it. It's going to be fine. By the way, that's local, local search is called Google My Business. And if I'm right, I have a suspicion it's not even in the first 20 videos. Mm, maybe, let's have a look. That's amusing. Um, uh, but but I would be covering it, obviously, in the big one, which is the video, the um, uh, idiot Anderson um, website. So the sixth video will be the website. Huge aspect here. I kind of will be covering it. Now, I'll also be covering it in social media and lead generation, all the options. Um, because sometimes your local search could be 80% of your orders. Okay. Remember, all of this. All of this talking, all of this helping I'm going to give you is there to do one single thing, to make your phone ring or your emails come pouring into the orders. That's all you really care about. You don't come onto the groups. I know you don't to ask about, oh, please help me with my SEO because you really love to learn about SEO. No, you don't. I know you don't. So if I can kind of show you the, the, the crux, the, the basics, the, the, the essence of what you have to do, um, and you start to do that, and for all I know, you are doing it, but you're not doing it with that with that little twist, meaning the the SEO twist, the keyword H1 tags, whatever it is. Okay, it's all cool stuff that you're going to need, but you don't need to go and do um, fifteen thousand dollar courses on SEO, because in truth, you just need to know five things. Okay, and for those of you that perhaps are a, a, a big business. You've already got staff of, of 30, 40 people manufacturing for you. And, 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 and sure, you can come across to me and, and negotiate uh, me doing your SEO for you. Um, I've got an SEO website. Let me find it for you and show you. I'm quite pleased with it, in fact. 
everything gets here. Oh, stop it. Everything gets in the way here. Um, here it is. It's this one. Lead stream company. But I'm not here to sell you SEO. I'm here to teach you SEO so that you can go and do it yourself. Okay? So, uh, I'm on to already eight minutes of your life, which is in fact really little. If it's going to help you learn and understand how to choose the most profitable crafts, turn those crafts into a well-optimized online media property system and use the correct, um, easiest correct marketing streams, follow me on all of this, to turn it into orders. So profitable product, that's research, profitable keywords, that's research, correct online presence, which is social media and website done in, a, and in the right way and streamlined to suit your product will over time and then you repeat it. So now you know what to do. Thanks, Rob. That was cool. Have a nice day. Bye. Send me a, a, a free pizza voucher. <laughs> no, just a thank you. We'll be fine. And then you can go ahead and repeatedly do those six things. In other words, find X content that's keyword orientated to create, turn it into a post and a video. Sure, it's a day's work, but it's a day's work once a week. The rest of your week will be off, not off from work, excuse me, you've got to go and make your product and, and work on your booth and, 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 and. But it's, if I can squish your, your, online media marketing down to at the at the most a day a week and maybe an hour every evening or every morning um putting up perhaps pinterest images or uh, instagram so there are ways of making it work okay so just to quickly run through this i'm gonna go through um when i say to be honest very similar to the first video i'm gonna go through them in more section in oh my goodness Sorry about things like this. By the way, I, I've got hiccups. Um, by the way, I need to tell you that I am a little odd and I love it. I don't give a crap, to be honest, if you don't like it. Um, I'm hoping you do. But I am not the kind of human being that can get to the point in 10 seconds and make a video last for one minute. And it's bad luck. I believe, firmly believe that the more I could explain it to you in different versions, the better it will become entrenched in your thinking and then in your actions, and turn into money in your bank. It's my way. Um, I'm also a little too creative, so I struggle to keep my thoughts in line. Uh, I struggle to finish sentences and things, and it's just tough. Sorry, people, but all of this came from the hiccup thought. I also am not trying to be so hugely professional that I cut out the ums and the ahs and the <coughs> as they appear. No. Um, I've got dogs and cats and my wife runs a daycare. The kids are going to come in here and say, hey, Rob, look at this. And they're going to do it. I'm not going to stop it. I'm not going to try and redo it. Um, I'm, I run a few uh, streams of income. So this live streaming and training is probably going to use up two, three hours of my day for a while. But the rest of the time I need to utilize, well, for and also for my own gardening and other things that I love doing. So here's a good example. Can you hear the dogs? It means my wife has come home and the dogs love to shout at her. So there's going to be a far more noise in the next uh, three minutes than expected. Anyway, so th that's what I needed to tell you is, is that it's unplugged is the word um, that's correctly used. This is live and it's meant to be live. And even though I'm recording this, it's still, wow, to those dogs, it's still live. Okay, so I'm going to be covering researching your craft or your product. I'm going to be covering the, the online properties, which is social media and website, and then the methods, all the different details that you can go into to kind of fine tune it that the phone rings. Okay, cool. So 12 minutes because of the noise of the dogs too. I'm going to stop this one for now, and I'm going to turn this into a video that I can then add into my live stream uh, in a minute or two. Well, or half an hour, 10. Thanks. Take care. And by the way, Oh, sorry, my bad. Before I go, you can always come back and find this video. It's going to be published on YouTube, on Facebook, and about three of my websites, and all the subsequent videos too. I appreciate it. Take care. Cheers. Hi. Okay, so I'm back. Um, 
I was chuckling like hell. This, uh, <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, this was live streaming. Remember, I was running a pre recorded video um, for you, and in the process, uh, what can I say? I, I, I got onto my phone and started answering a WhatsApp message, and suddenly thought, hey, are you guys still here with me? Uh, I have a pay attention problem. Okay, so you've heard everything there that I've said. Um, I'm going to be doing um, in the morning. Um, it's South African time here now at 10 to 8 in the evening. So in the morning, I'm going to create the post that doesn't yet exist on this website um, and link to the live video and, and share it. Um, <clears throat> just for the funsies of all of this, and this is serious, I, I really love this this idea. I need to show you something, just out of curiosity, because, uh, by the way, if, if you if you think you've heard enough from me and I'm done, take the by my hand, you can go and come back to the next video tomorrow. After this, I'm just going to be showing you stuff that might or might not be of interest to you. Um, I'm hoping it is. Yeah, I'm hoping you really love everything I've got to say. Um, wh what I want to tell you here is, I've got um, my original craft marketing, where I did my old crafting courses, are mostly on this website. Yeah, so this is my my work from home membership site. I've then got another that I started a year or two ago. I have no idea, and I've neglected this site. Okay. Because I'm always working on client websites, then I've got one called Crafts to Make and Sell, uh, which will open in a second. And this one I started, I bought it a year or two ago to use to try a trick to spam links to this site and forward those the power to the site. It was a whole course that I bought and, and tried, and to be very honest, I think it failed. Google's far cleverer than um, we like to believe. It wasn't necessarily meant for Google at the time. If I'm correct, I was doing it to market on Bing. Anyway, so I had two websites, very similar. Look, crafts to make and sell from home, things to make and sell from home. So this one was never meant to be live. Anyway, I recently bought software to pump it, to be honest, and again to test it. It was about two, three months ago. Um, and now I've decided to turn it off, um, in, in a way, not totally turn it off, um, but it's going to be part of the marketing that you will get this training on. But most of everything will go on to the things to make and sell from home website. Okay. I also have my small business opportunities website, where if you go in and look here, you'll notice that it is in fact, in fact, let me go into all my dashboards for you. This is exactly the sort of thing I'm going to be showing you live as to what I do and how I go about doing it. Um, for most of the last eight or nine years, my online marketing efforts have been geared towards, oh my goodness, this is very nice of me. I'm going to be showing you all my login stats. Let's quickly go to the next one so you can't think of it. It doesn't matter. You can just pause it. Uh, so, <clears throat> pretty much, I've been helping customers for crafting and things, starting small business opportunities on a one-on-one -on -one basis, okay? So, what that does is it means that I'll build things for here. In fact, let's go and look at this one. Work from home membership. I think it's going to fight with me. Uh, if it does, it doesn't matter. Let me just go back to... Um, so, my point is, is that I've got web courses on these that I sell one or two of, five here, ten there, none for a while. And because of it, look at this, I've only had eight reads of this. This entire website today has only had eight visitors, yesterday 18. So, and the reason for that is that, and this is part of the training I'm going to give you, if you do not work regularly on your website, they will drop down and down and down on the rankings. In fact, this is a better example. This is the one that I opened. Um, I started this. Well, let me show you uh, on, on the stats. Because I started it to see if I could use automated posting to... Oh, my nerves. More stuff to give you here. Okay, so... If you go back to our open the site, so September the 6th. Let's have a look where it was opened 
There we go. So yeah, Flatliner didn't exist, and then I installed. I, I built it on a Friday night, and that by the end of that night, I had had close to 600 reads for that very first day. That over overnight, um, some of them came dude, after I'd gone to bed. Okay. So I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. 600 reads per day times by 30 days could be a nice business. And so I set it up the next day and then realized I was sending people to the wrong kind of pages. I can explain it all to you later in the training if you want me to. And so I stopped doing anything on it, deciding that I must come and set it up. So a couple of days I did a few things and then I got busy with the client website. So you will notice that things chug along now here at 50 60 visitors per day once i proved that the software would work i toned it down and stopped doing the stirring it up that, that i'm going to be doing by the way the similar sort of stirring it up that i'm going to be doing now so if you can see there's 50 50 100 but what you need to notice here is the blue and the red can you see the difference so that peak was 218 232 reads Let's go back to a busier one. There, when there's blue, it means more people are reading more than the one page they pitched up on. In other words, if it's running level, the two colors like this, that's a bad thing. People are getting to the site and thinking, eh, boring and going away. Okay, They're not thinking it would be cool to look at another page. So it's a design flaw that I'm fully aware of. And as I said, busy with client sites, I, I'm, I'm kind of decided, uh, you know, nothing, nothing to do there. Now, remember that from now on, pretty much today, in fact, Monday, the 4th of December, 2017, is when I'm going to start doing the marketing on all of these sites, but mostly the, this one, things to make and sell. So I expect if you look here, chugging along, chugging along at 20, that I'm hoping um, through the very skills I'm going to be teaching you. In other words, I have to apply these things and prove to you they work. So this also becomes a case study. Okay. So what will happen is that as I go along, I'm going to promote this and expect to get this 20 up to 200 and up to three, four, five hundred 500 um, visitors and, and more views a day as people pitch up and need to read more of the pages that I offer them. Okay. In fact, if you look here, there are days in the past, um, they're 150, so not even huge. This website has never been uh, seriously targeted for work. I have done a bit of targeting for the keywords, things to make and sell, but I'm talking very, very light in the pants. Here they go, you can see. So I get searches for things to make and sell online, things to make and sell from home, things to make and sell. So as you can see, I do get some traction on those, um, but who knows if, if after this later on, I'll be doing more of that, more of the keyword targeting for SEO, but mostly I'm going to be using social media marketing. In other words, I'm going to use the live streaming. I don't know if it's wise to show that while it's recording, but I'm going to be using the live streaming to promote. Um, it gets huge traction, by the way, live streaming, Google loves it. Facebook loves it. So there's a lot of things that I'm going to be doing that to do with that. But more importantly, then I'm going to go back to the sites like this. And when I'm when it's done and I've posted it, I will be using different tactics to promote it to jump those figures. And I'm going to show you how and where. And by the way, there's negative and positive. That day back here that got 600 views or whatever it was. Um, it wasn't like that, a brilliant, like, wow, perfect buyer traffic. No, it wasn't. It was broadly covering Facebook at the time. In fact, more than just Facebook. So um, a lot of what I'm going to be doing in the marketing of this, I need to show you the visitor tech on this one, um, is going to be up to six months of long-term traffic building um, where I want buyer traffic. So I'm going to start with using the live streaming to promote to bring you guys in here. Once I've done that, I'm going to offer every kind of a trick. In fact, let me show you an every kind of a trick to keep you happy and visiting me. I'm going to show you how I'm going to monetize my website. For example, I will still be doing one website only, only one website for a client um, 
in this field. So, uh, but it must be. I'm not going to be taking on swimming pool clients or whatever local search contractors that I have been doing because I've got, by the way, 30 other websites. Um, so my my website business, um, I suppose I'll take on if they come to me, but they, uh, I'm going to try to stick to only using or sticking to crafting people. So, um, but that one website it would be a, a one or two or three thousand dollar website. So through this system of training, I'm going to be offering you pretty much covers a lot of free stuff. And in doing so, they're going to be freebies. Let me give you an example. If you go to uh, all freebies here, where should there's an all freebies here page? Uh, uh, not worry. Let's click on this one and see where it goes. I think it goes to a page. Oh, it does say all freebies here. I want to go to that page. Okay. Now I, I want to show you something that uh, what I've been doing. So I'm going to send you on a treasure hunt. Okay. Now, <laughs> sorry about that. So you want this freebie, here we go, a, a very detailed 26, I don't know how many videos, it'll say on here, here we go, uh, no it doesn't, somewhere here, there's 20, 30 videos on this, this is a $57, it really is this value, on how to start a woodworking business, by the way, this is so interchangeable into what I'm going to be teaching you here, it's a kind of a shortcut, if you're really in a big rush, just click on this button, oh, sorry, my bad, get to this page and follow these rules. Okay, now, here's what I want to show you something. If you go to, when I set this up, which I have no idea when it was, uh, six months ago, here's the, here's the treasure hunt. You've got to take this keyword and go and search Google for web design companies in Johannesburg. Now, what I'm doing is I'm taking full advantage of you. You're going to get a freebie and I'm going to get you to do what Google loves to see to rank my website, okay? So you're going to go to web Google and you're going to look under web design companies in Johannesburg. Watch here. Web design companies in Johannesburg it gets 140 searches per month, okay? And you're going to go and look for my website. So step through. St scroll through the results to around the 20th position to the 50th position. Now this is what I'm here to talk to you about. Looking for this website, designsmith.co.za. That's one of my uh, core web design um, websites okay so but have a look at this it says go to the 20th to the 50th this was 37th or 50th or something very high when i did it the other day i realized damn i've got to go and change that page because if you go and look here um design smith was i don't know 14th or something oh my goodness i have to go and look for it properly i suppose there we go 19th oh I think it was better the other day. I don't remember to be very honest. So I'm still okay with the 20th to 50th, but it's 19th. Here's why this works for me. So this is the whole point of my treasure hunt. I use social media to give you free training. Everybody's cool. Okay. When you get that social media, uh, sorry, when, when you get the freebies, you're going to come here, or a lot of people will, and want to get my course. Or whatever those other ones were these and I've got by the way 2,000 of them no jokes well maybe 500 but I do have to kind of try harder and put more of them up here so the point is is that let's say 50 people a day are gonna go here to get this course and they're going to start to get so by the way then you have to open the page online marketing look for the word blunderbuss <laughs> and click on it so you can't just go there you have to go to that 19th position and find DesignSmith, uh, designsmith.co.za, cool. When you've clicked on that, you go back to the, 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 the treasure hunt plan and it says open the page, online marketing, look for the word blunderbuss. So give it a sec to open, hi Rob, well, good website, thank you. So um, online marketing, was it? Not bad. Yeah, online marketing, blunderbuss, fine. So obviously I added a word <laughs> just to now by the way this is how it works now google will think okay cool he chose number 19 out of those search results as the most accurate answer for that keyword search which was web design companies in janisburg and google will put me up in the rankings if enough people search for that keyword go to the one my website designsmith click on it um 
and then stay. Don't click close and bail, but you must be there for at least a minute. Okay, so it's called crowd searching. Um, it's, it's a method of marketing, works beautiful. Uh, here we go, phone me if you like. Not now though, please. Uh, boom, 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 so blunderbuss, blunderbuss, ba, 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 dee, ba, ba, bops. It'll probably be highlighted because it's a link. So let's just see if there's a shortcut. Hmm. Looks like I colored it in another color to stop you finding it easily. Remember, I want you to have to hang around here for for preferably a full minute. Um, my goodness. It will look bad if it's not in here. I mean, after I've shown you how to go. There we go. Blunderbuss. So you click on that. And if you look down here, you're going to get the download page. So pause it and cheat if you like. Um, and that's it. So you get a free course. You don't have to give me an email opt-in. You don't have to sing any songs. You don't have to write any posts and things for my pages. But you would have had to search for a keyword, find my website, find a page, click on a link. In doing so, Google will see you from anywhere around the world as an, a natural search um, feature. I don't know what the word is, but it's called cloud thingy. So, so yeah, if once I've started to let, spread the word on this, I mean, people start to go, I'm going to go from 19th to 17th to 13th. And yeah, there's a problem because um, it's website design. And truthfully, I'm, I'm kind of avoiding it. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just double my prices. So keep an eye for me, out for me that I don't do that to you. Okay, so uh, there we go. So it's one of my sites, um, all about online marketing, which, by the way, is similar to what we do. So, yeah. Um, and that, by the way, means that you're going to get more of this. Can you see? This is the website that used to keep me alive. Um, I haven't worked on it probably going on now four years. I'm not sure. Every now and again, I'll go and do something. Like, you know, change the phone number or add. Uh, recently, I, I added some Google AdWords, AdSense, uh, whatever, to make some cash from that. I was going to look to see if I'm making any money, but I don't really care enough. And and you can see, by the way, leaving it for four years, it's going down, 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 ever so slowly. And what does it tell you? It tells you that you want to keep a business alive online. You've got to work on it at least, at the very, very least, once a week, okay? But in truth, um, uh, more than that, uh, twice a week, do something on a Monday, do something bigger on, on a weekend, um, go in and, and add comments, adjust and edit, change some text. Google likes to see that your site is alive. Um, perhaps even more so, you need to be sharing your site. And yet, from an average of, what is this, 25, 22, 26, so 25 visitors, I'm getting an average of about, I've got no idea, 70 reads a day. So it's good. It means to say that the content I've got on this site, by the way, it was very, very similar to what I'm doing now. Four years ago, I was teaching, all my, I put a lot of free training on there. So it's still there, by the way. Go and look, but it's a little bit dated. So a lot of what I'm going to be doing for you now will be a new version of this. And it tells you that, Google appreciated my efforts back then to the point where they now notice that people are coming along and on any given day, so yesterday, 119 reads from 34 visitors. That's good. It means that people are on average reading three or four pages and scrolling through and looking at stuff. Okay, so um, that's what you need to achieve. And that's the kind of trick I'm going to be teaching you. Uh, with this this online how to sell more crafts so whereas this site will probably still remain um, kind of stagnant I, I, I'm going to be doing a bit of promoting through it but it's important that I show you this sort of thing as opposed to where it's been done badly look so I'm getting traffic here probably more here average 50 60 but I haven't made it interesting enough for them to hang around uh, somebody that hangs around by the way here's proof um, I don't know how well you know me. Some of you might have known me for, for a long time on, on my other assets that I've been marketing on, okay? But there's a huge amount of you that are going to be pitching up from here, from Pinterest, from Instagram, from, from YouTube, from Google search. 
and think, huh, who's this guy? Okay, so yeah, you're going to learn the hard way that I'm not normal, um, and that's cool. In fact, I'm, I'm likely to, for example, start a competition by the 20th video as to whether you can guess which shirt I'm going to have on the next day. Or, you know, because, hello, I'm, I'm not a kind of care about fashion, people. In fact, yeah, I have like a, you know, once every couple of weeks, I'm like, ah, oh, damn, it's shaving day. So, um, you're going to be fairly amused. The point is, is that um, in the beginning, you, I'm just a voice talking. Uh, so far, no proof. Oh, it's all very cool. I can show you that I've got this and it used to be busy and I made a living from it. Yeah, I, it's the words. So, the reality is, is that as you learn to trust me and hang around and visit more and more of my websites and come back and watch the next video where I will teach you, I don't know what I'm going to teach you, it was written down, yeah, it's still written down, so by the time I'm doing um, the fourth video here, which should be by, I'm going to do probably even, um, definitely one more tomorrow, so at the very least it's Thursday this week, but of course it depends on when you're watching it, so four days from now, uh, all that video number four is live, now a product keyword research is a huge thing, I might run that thing into a, literally a 60 minute uh, live stream in fact i'm probably doing quite good now 36 minutes <laughs> i love that well done rob so this is huge you might be a very very well established uh, jewelry manufacturer 10 years 15 years in the business and not know that if you simply just changed your, your not even changed your product changed the wording on your website now, we're not talking about Etsy listings and stuff. That's different SEO. We're talking about simply just, no jokes, the correct H1 titles on your page. So that's the kind of keyword research. Literally, I'm sorry, what I was meant to add, um, a backlink or two, a little bit of social sharing, and that page for that search, your ranking on that keywords search engine result page. I'm about making sense so early in, your, in the training here. Um, might jump you from, I don't know, page two to page one, to where you suddenly start to get um, 20, 30, 40 visitors a day when you were only getting one a day. Um, I mean, that's 40 times your traffic. Now, yeah, maybe, maybe not, depends on your keywords. So again, that's the kind of stuff. So now my point is, but I, I do get to the point every now and again. My point is, you will learn to trust me that I do know what I'm talking about. I know I'm talking what I'm talking about. Hell, I love to tell people how clever I am all the time. The point is, once you learn to realize, wow, okay, what he said is true. Look at that. Wow, okay. So you will then learn to trust me to the point where when I send you to anywhere here, you won't bother with the free version. You're going to go straight to one of my courses, um, which I will hopefully have put up as a higher price by then. <laughs> oh, sorry, oh, my jokes don't ever stop. Uh, and they're funny to me, huh? and I don't really worry about if they're funny to me, as long as I'm in stand. Here's a course that I have got for a, a seriously $9. Now, I'm unlikely to ever increase this one. This is how to improve your Etsy. How to do cool Etsy search. This is researching to see if your product's a best-selling product. Now, there's nothing hugely unique in this. Like, when you bought it, you're going to think, ah! But in truth... My opinion is very, very simple. If your research is done right, pay attention to this, and you then realign your, your, your business just a little bit or completely and start to make three times, even 10% a month more in sales, 10% of one product, $9 was worth it. Okay. More importantly, it saves you having to do Google search to find out how to do these methods. Okay. So... It's, it's a very, very simple system that I teach you how, but it's a system. Follow step one, step two. In fact, here we go. This is what I cover. Oh, no. I cover this in the video app, so I'll keep an eye on me. That's 40. The video app sells more money, yeah. I've got no idea how much more. Click this link and go and see. Um, because obviously the videos are like now where I'm teaching you more. But again, it, it's worth it because... In my opinion, is that, I, and this is the, the attitude I have, is that I will happily pay for a course, even if I knew 
the first 19 videos of the course, they don't teach me a single thing that I didn't know already. But on the 20th thing, they tell me, have you thought of this? Try this. And you know what? If I haven't and it works, I love the person for that. I have gained an extra trick, an extra step. Okay, so um, there's no doubt that if I'm talking about these kind of things, I've gone far past whatever I started telling you about earlier. And at 40 minutes, I'm sure it's more than enough for you on this video. So thank you for your time and trouble. If you've actually hung around until here and watched me, I'm super impressed. You should send me an email somehow. <laughs> and I'll, I'll swear I'll find some kind of a gift to give you. Uh, and I've got at any given time. Uh, yeah, if this was a normal video, I'd pause it and show you a cool gift. But there'll be no pausing on live. I'm pleased to say that I, I haven't coughed or, or done any singing or anything at all yet. Hang around, it'll happen uh, in the other videos. Okay, so I think I'm kind of done. I'm going to click the stop streaming and hope that that's where it stops. Um, and hope that I've covered enough for you now. And that I'm going to be helping you. It, it, seriously, it's, it's just very, very simple. So thanks for your time, and let me get out of here. Take care. Cheers.